<laughs> what? 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 How about what the fuck? What's so amusing? Are, are you going to a fancy dress party or something? Well, that's rich coming from a man in a fucking priest outfit. Touche. So, so, so what is this? Well, if you really want to know, I'm transitioning. Into what? A low paid bad driver? Oh, very funny. Let the jokes begin. Come on, let's hear the toxic masculinity. Seriously, sweetheart, love, darling, what's going on? I told you I'm transitioning into a woman. Since when? Last night we were arm wrestling, watching football, drinking beer and, you know, looking at cars online. No, we weren't. Okay, I was just trying to be stereotypically male. But nonetheless, you were looking pretty much like a man and today, well, to, to be perfectly honest, you look, you look pretty fit. Thank you. But, you know, I, I don't want to be known for just what I look like, you know. I have brains as well, you know. And breasts now, it seems. Well, I know how a woman feels now, and I must side with my sisters, so I don't want to hear any sexist jokes. Oh, no, of course not. I agree. Actually, a lot of very intelligent, interesting women I know have expressed quite vehemently to me lately that, you know, they, they still feel they live in a male-dominated world and that to get noticed, to herd or climb the employment ladder, have to dress in sexual attire and are still only really looked upon as sex objects. One said to me, if only men could just, you know, once walk a mile in my shoes. I said, you mean heels. You can't help yourself, can Well, you? it's too easy. Though, though I, I must take my heart off you for having the balls to do this. We still got our balls, haven't we? <sighs> Please don't remove the family jewels. Well, if you keep making sexist jokes, I just might. I'll take it into consideration. But one question. Just the one. Well, maybe a few, actually. We've got 20 odd minutes to kill in this episode. So I, I just want to ask. Why would any man want to be a fucking woman? The minute you were born into this world, you're on a higher pay grade. You have a seat at the board. Your sister, if she's lucky, gets to serve tea and biscuits. Oh, very funny. But like James Brown said, it's a man's world, but it'd be nothing without a woman or a girl. Is that a cis woman or a trans woman or a gender queer woman? You don't even know what you're talking about now, do you? Well, fuck me, you know, who can keep up? It's like, it's like every week someone invents a new gender to fit how they perceive themselves. We've gone from designer labels to designer genders. Anyway, I respect your decision to become a second class citizen in our society. I did read a book recently about feminism. It was excellent, actually, a, a great insight into the, the world in which we live. Really, really profound, perspicacious and clever and surprisingly written by a woman. You know, what are you doing anyway to interrupt me and filmmaker Mott Short? I'm film? just making an album of cover songs to release, actually. Okay, cool. What are you recording? Then? Well, I've done A Natural Woman by Aretha Franklin. Naturally. And I'm doing I'm Every Woman by Shaka Khan. Clearly. Obviously. And I'm just working on that Cindy Lauper classic, Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. Fuck it, why not do, you know, Foxy Lady by Jimmy, sorry, Foxy Sis Lady by, you know, D Jimi Hendrix. How attached to our balls are you feeling? Very, uh, sorry, look, you just enjoy your covers. I'm off to the shops. Do you want any tampons? Balls!